Hello my students. As I was going through the comment area, I came across a student who wanted to be taught about inequalities. Now this one is a topic that was taught in class 7 about algebra and it was about inequalities. Now for my reference, I'm going to use this question that was tested in the KCP for the year 2015 and it was question number 27. Now, what are inequalities? Now, an inequality is a relation between, it is a relation between two expressions that are not equal. An equality is a relation between two expressions that are not equal. If you look at what we have here, on your left, there is this expression here. And on your right, there is this other expression which is here. These two expressions, both on right and on left, they are not the same. They are not equal. And to make you understand what I mean here, if for example I put one here, because this is n and that is n, if I put one here, that will be 14 plus 9. And 14 plus 9 that will give me 23. If I put the same same one here, I will have 41 minus 6. And 41 minus 6 will be 35. Therefore, 23 is not the same as 35. Therefore, these two expressions here are not equal. And you will find that in between the two expressions, there is that symbol. Now, the two symbols that are used to show the relationship between two expressions are the first symbol is drawn like that. Whereby, on the left it is narrow and on the right it is wider. Meaning that whatever you put on your left is less than whatever you put on the right. And that is why on the right it is wider and on the left it is narrow. Therefore, this symbol here is called less than. The second symbol is the opposite of what we have. On the left it is wider and on the right it is narrow, meaning greater than. Whatever will be on the left is greater than whatever is on the right. I'm going to use this expression here to explain more. X is less than 10. That is what that expression means. X is less than 10. Whatever value you put for X here should be less than 10. And because x is an unknown value, whatever value that you decide or you select to put for the value of x here should remain less than 10. And therefore, uh, the value of x that can, uh, that can make this statement to be true can be less than 10. For example, if you put 0, 0 is less than 10. 1, 2 all the way up to 9, all those values, if they are inserted where we have x, they will make this expression to be true. x is less than 10. And x in that case can take values from 0 all the way up to 9. You can even put 9.1, 9.2, up to 9.9 .9 because all those values are less than 10. I will use the same same expression and write it in the opposite way. Whereby, now I have begun with 10, which is now greater than x. That is, 10 is greater than x. And therefore, again, if you look at the wider part, that is where we have 10. And the narrow part, that is where we have x. So whatever I will put for the value of x should be below 10. And therefore, since this expression and this expression are just the same, the values of x can remain 0 all the way up to 9. 
the, the, of these values will make this statement to be correct. Now, my expression which was given here was like as you can see here. That is, 14n plus 9 is less than 41 minus 6n. There is 14n here and there is minus 6n there. There is a plus 9 here and a 41 there. So what do you do in this case? You should put like terms together. In other words, you group the n's together and the other known values on their own side. And therefore, like now in this case here, you'll have 14n plus 9 to be less than 41 minus 6n. I want the minus 6n to cross to the other side and plus 9 to cross to the other side so that I group the n's together and the other values together. This plus 9 here, if it crosses that symbol there, it will be minus 9. In other words, I'm removing plus 9 here and I'm going to add it onto the other side. I am going to remove minus 6n here and I'm going to add it onto the other side. So when I take plus 9 from this side, I will have to subtract it on the other side. In other words, you subtract 9 on both sides here and here you add 6n on both sides. So if you add plus 6n here, you, you will eliminate this one there. And therefore, you will have on your left 14n plus 6n to be less than 41 minus 9. Actually, the way I'm doing here is the way we normally solve any other algebraic expression. And therefore, 14n plus 6n, that will give me 20n, and 41 minus 9, that will give me 32. Remember, my aim here is to get the values of n that will make this expression here to be true. So here, because I have 20n, which is less than 32, I want to be left on the left side with n, and therefore I should divide both sides by 20. And therefore, on my left, I'll have 20n divided by 20, which would be less than 32 divided by 20. Doing that, I will remove that 20 from that side. And therefore, if I may cancel that 20 with this 20, this side I will be left with n. And therefore, on the other side, I can take now uh, 4, I divide by 20, so that I get 5. 4, I, uh, that 2, I divide by 4, I should get 8. And therefore, afresh, that expression will be n is less than 8 over 5. 8 over 5 is an improper fraction, which can be simplified and made mixed number, whereby now you should have n is less than 1 and 3 over 5. n is less than 1 and 3 over 5. And now you can see that is the choice that was given there. Now before I wind up this lesson, I will go back to this expression here. If I like this expression like this, whereby now I begin in one, with 1 and 3 over 5 to be greater than n, this expression here is the same as that expression there. And in most cases you will find a candidate getting confused because you will find that now your symbol here is less but now here it is becoming greater than, provided the greater part is on the side of 1 and 3 over 5 and the less part should be on the side of n and therefore this expression and that expression is just the same. Look at this for my class web name here. We are providing you with approved curriculum by KICD that is Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development and therefore subscribe, continue subscribing to this channel to update you with more and more lessons. Thank you very much.